Hi there, I'm Steve Knudsen, Microsoft MVP for Office Services and Apps. Today I'm going to talk about Dataverse for Microsoft Teams. Dataverse is a new feature, um, it's, it's come out recently, it's formerly been uh, known by a few different uh, names including Project Oakdale. Um, if I look at the left hand side of Microsoft Teams down here, you'll see I've got the Power Apps icon down here, um, and then I've got this home page here for the Power Apps, um, Power Apps within Teams itself. Now to get this, I simply click onto the three dots if I don't already have Power Apps installed. Uh, click onto the three dots, I search for Power Apps um, in here. And then you'll add the Power Apps to your environment and, and, appro and approve it to load. Um, once that's loaded, then, then you'll get this Power Apps app down here which, you can, which gives you access to this home page and the building capability. And also gives you the ability to add Power App tabs into your Teams. So if we have a quick look around, you can see that there's some other apps available, ideas and things in here. Um, I'll demonstrate the inspection app later. Um, I'll install that into here as well. Now to create a new app, I simply click create an app and that will take me into a screen which asks me um, about um, which team I'd like to associate with. Uh, and then it goes away and starts the um, uh, the building the app for me, but that does take a few minutes. So what I've got is here instead is one I've created already called Test. So I'm just going to click into that. Um, while I'm loading the Test app up, um, because this app is loaded associated with a team, um, everyone in that team has access to the app, and everyone in the team also has access to the data related to the app as well. So I'm going to open this app up. Um, it's going to take us into the builder, and then what we'll do is we'll go and create a simple table. Uh, and just demonstrate how um, how the data connection works with Power Apps. What I'm am going to do is assume that you've used Power Apps before, but if you haven't, um, I do have some other videos on my channel um, which um, sort of introduce Power Apps um, from a SharePoint point of view. The same concepts from those videos apply here. So on my screen, I've got my Canvas view here for creating the app, uh, and then on the left hand side over here, you'll see it's got an option here for um, adding data or creating a new table. If I choose Add Data, you'll see just down here quickly that we do have access to existing data source types, including SharePoint data types if you're using SharePoint lists in the back end instead. Um, <clears throat> I can also create a table. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a table. And creating a table is going to take us into Dataverse. So I'll just create one called Asset. And then underneath Advanced, you'll see it just gives me a plural for Asset called Assets. I'm going to create that. What it's going to do is take me into a little table builder, and in here I can build a, uh, build a database table. So um, I've got a default column called name, let's go and add another column in here, we'll call this one uh, value, um, and it'll make value a, um, a number, so there's a different data types we can use, I'm just going to use a number. And then I'm going to create another field, and I'm just going to call this one here inspection date. And we'll make that a date field um, in here as well. Create that. So now I've got a couple of fields. Let's just um, enter some data in here. So let's just call this one um, dryer. Um, it's got a value of um, $10,000 and the next inspection date is um, 30th of November. So I've done, I've created my data. Now I'm just going to close out of this form. So that's going to create the, t the table. So you'll now see the table appear on the left over here. If I choose into here, I can specify my, my um, data source. And you'll see now I've got dryer showing up down here. Um, in fact, if I just zoom that part a little bit, you'll see it's got a, a, a gallery control on here and I've got the word dryer in there. Now, I'm not going to go into building an app in detail because that's not really what this demo is about. Um, as I said, watch some of my other videos to learn how to do that. Um, but I just wanted to demonstrate how you could actually create a Power App, how quick it is to create it within Teams. And to create a data source, I can create, of course, multiple tables and link them and so on. On the right-hand side over here, you'll notice it does have an option for publishing to Teams. If I do that, it will publish this app into Teams and make it available for the team that I've created the app in. What I'll do is, so rather than going through and building an entire team, uh, entire app, I'll take, take you into Teams and show you um, how that app works. So over in Teams, I'm going to go to my Teams list, and here I've got one called Control Document Portal, and in here I've got a Power App um, a channel called Power Apps. Uh, this can be any channel name. I've just named it Power Apps just for the purposes of this demo. Um, but you'll notice at the top it's got a couple of tabs up here, one called Inspections and one called Manage Inspections. 
So these are um, Power Apps that are associated with the inspection Power App that Microsoft provides as a demo um, of the platform. So I'm just going to go into here and just want to show you a few little things um, just to demonstrate just how um, rich you can build applications in here. So applications can include media, um, they can include all kinds of um, um, uh, nice features like lookups and related data and forms and um, rich media and so on. So this one's got like imagery for example, it's got different um, inspection types. If I click down through this control over here you'll see that it updates the data on this side over here to include um, the picture and the top location type, you'll see the clothing whereas before I was in the, um, well in fact if I click the, that one there I'm in the vegetable section and if I click the bottom one I'm back in frozen vegetables. Uh, I can also have um, inspection forms, so I've got different forms uh, over here, so this is another view, another view within or tab within this app. Here's some forms that I can fill in um, and um, inspection insights where I can go through and have a look at, get some stats out of the inspections that have happened. So um, a pretty common scenario for sort of like any kind of retail or manufacturing site where you might have factory floor walks and those sorts of things or even health and safety. Um, so quite a useful little app as a starting point. Um, one of the, uh, the things that I do get asked is what licensing is required. So um, Dataverse for Teams doesn't require uh, any additional licensing. If your user is licensed for Teams, uh, then they will have Dataverse. If they need to access the advanced data, um, data sources, then those are additional licensing costs. Or um, uh, And also for things like API calls, you can use the Azure APM, um, API M. Uh, management um, tools, I think at no cost, but for other um, API calls to other services, then there is a cost to it, um, just as there is an existing Power, App, Power Platform stuff. Um, one other thing which is coming is the ability to use Power BI to connect to this data source as well, so that, uh, keep an eye out for that. Um, as I said, Dataverse is very new, um, it went general availability uh, at the start of this week, um, so um, expect lots of improvements over the next wee while, but in the meantime, it looks pretty good to me. I um, hope you've enjoyed the demo. If you have, please uh, spread the word um, and subscribe to my channel. Much appreciated. Um, have a good rest of the day.